Thousands of love stories locked on the Roberto Clemente Bridge are now being removed. Workers say it's a necessary part of the bridge rehab. But Bryant Reed reports the love stories those locks represent won't be forgotten. About 11,000 love locks continue to be on the Roberto Clemente Bridge, but soon their stories will be coming to an end as crews work to take them off to continue bridge work. As $34 million worth of work on the Roberto Clemente Bridge is ramping up, crews are removing what's become an iconic piece of the bridge. We're out here today cutting the locks. Love locks off the 6th Street Bridge, the Roberto Comeni Bridge. They say they're removing them because the handrails they're locked on need to be cleaned and repainted, but the love they symbolize will live on. Ultimately turn into sculptural material to tell a new story and also represent the original story and uh, to try to represent the hopes and dreams of all of the folks who have put, put their time and energy to attaching locks to the bridge. Tim Collin runs the Industrial Arts Workshop in Hazelwood, where the locks are going to be donated. He's leading a group of high schoolers who are planning to turn these love locks into a new art form, but he admits they're not exactly sure what that is just yet. Responsibility to try to represent the ideas of so many people who we don't really know. Like, we don't know the individuals who came to the bridge to make uh, a small statement of their of their hopes and ideas, so it, it comes with some responsibility to try to interpret that. As for putting new locks on the bridge once it's refurbished? Well, we encourage people not to put locks back on the bridge. Uh, they uh, are damaging the paint on the bridge, but uh, I'll leave it at that. Instead, Shanley says, let the new sculpture show your love to Pittsburgh. And although Colin's not sure how long the project will take, he says when it comes to art, just like love, you can't force it. Bryant Reed, KDK News.